Now for a look at uh, stories making headlines around the world and we're going to start with the ongoing unrest over Syria. President Trump has softened his rhetoric on a possible US military assault on the Syrian regime a day after he warned its key ally Russia that quote missiles will be coming. For more on this and other international news let's turn to our Noah Adam. So Adam what's the latest? Well, in a series of tweets on Wednesday, President Trump took a more aggressive tone towards Syria and Russia for a suspected chemical chemical attack in a rebel-held area. He said missiles, quote, will be coming in response to the alleged attack, but on Thursday he seemed to be backtracking from those remarks. He tweeted that he never said an attack on Syria would take place, adding it could happen soon or not soon at all. He also held a meeting with his national security team later in the day, but the White House said no final decision has yet been made. President Trump was due to announce sometime on Thursday Washington's response to the suspected attack, evidence of which is yet to be unveiled. U.S. media have quoted Washington officials as saying that a mix of weaponized chlorine gas and sarin may have been used. French President Emmanuel Macron also said he had proof that the Syrian government attacked civilians in Douma but did not provide further details. France and the UK have said they will back the US if any military action is taken against Syria. Syria and Russia have repeatedly denied such an attack took place after an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council. Moscow's UN envoy said the US was threatening international peace. Charter, the threat to international peace security and security is a violation of the UN Charter. The immediate priority is to avert the danger of war. But the second priority now is for the uh, OPCW mission to reach uh, Damascus and Duma and to see what re what's really happened. A team of experts from the Global Chemical Weapons Watchdog was travelling to Syria and will start their investigations on Saturday. It is not yet clear whether Washington and its allies would wait for the results of the OPCW's probe before deciding on a possible strike.